Thank you, Martin, for this first four races at Tottenham. I'll bring you this nice and flat race for you. Race five. Patrick Ogren, Derek Hinton and David Rudy all have two in the race. We'll go an ensign, Patrick Ogren, three memory, Liam Almanis, but we just have one. But Charles Lasseflet, Patrick Ogren, Temple of Buddha, Hollywood, Buttercup Bay, David Uli, Galips, Duo, Potable Witches, as the one, Pargawa Hair for Hollywood, and Princess Kate for David Uli. And orders and off. Select field of just eight minutes in this bumper. And Buttercup Bay is the first one to show. Um, I'll be at Clonmel for you tomorrow. Three races from here. There's a big one being uh, Clonmel Old Chase. And I'll be at Lark Hill then the day after for you to bring some bumper action with Derek Inkton. There's two horses in this race. He's the top trainer in the Yunter's table with three. He had a quick travel last week to go top of the championship with his first three winners in the Yunter's. Buttercup Bay by our player Princess Kate. Very open bumper this year for the Cheltenham Festival and the Aintree course. Patchistan also has a bumper bumper. So plenty of money to be won in the bumper races. Martin. <laughs> I know you don't like the bumpers but I, I think they're part of the National Lunch scene and they're the babies of the future. Hello. You are right, we don't see them as novice hoodlers the following year, do we? And it's Buttercup Bay, by frequency there, Princess Kate, and then comes Muchas La Cephlet, then Pagawa here, and then Free Memory, Old Gawa Insign, Gulista Duel, and Temple of Buddha. Here's the back marker. And Buttercup Bay's had two wins, I don't know where they've been. Uh, Princess Kate's got a win on his on his bar. Don't worry, they've ended those two or one of the previous bumpers. I'm sorry I didn't check the form before I started commentating. Just Princess Kate and Stablemate Buttercup Bay a cup names clear of the great for Gar here in third. Then comes give a list of duel dropping into a bumper for the second time. Just upon the first time in the bumper. On a good, another good day, three memory tracks here, you'll go ahead sign, but chairs the sifflet and then two but the Buddha is now the back marker. They've only got five and a half left to run and still the David Uli pair are detect dictating you and Buttercup Bay's on the inside now from his second place Princess Kate. I think David Uli must have a load of two you two mile horses because he does have a strong hand in that spear to my hoodlers. And Buttercup Bay, and Princess Kate are probably good novice, novices. And then Van Deacon Fire here, and then Google List to Duel, and then Free Memory. But it's the old horses, Buttercup Bay, who's in the lead by a couple of lengths for Princess Kate in second. The seven year olds head of a guy here back in third, who's now licking ground. Try and charge inside the two, but Buttercup Bay is well clear at the moment. Yes, a four or five length lead from Princess Kate in second. Brandy can fire eight. Three memories making some ground from the, from the Rensburg stable. They're well inside the final full lap towards line. Buttercup Bay, Princess Kate's coming to charge. Look, they can be between the only pair. And up towards line, Princess Kate is now a length clear for Buttercup Bay and staying on late for three was three memory. Closed on the air, but it's way too late. Maybe further for that one, but you don't get bumpers more than two miles, really. So there could be David Dooley's one to watch at the first hole with his horses and his bumper horses. Princess Kate wins. One, two for David Dooley. Free memory in third for Gary Hay was fourth. And Ogawa Ensai is